uh, Michael Brown. Uh, I got that Michael Brown namespace locked down. We're good. <laughs> All right. So, like, the most important piece of like infrastructure is hosts. So, a uh, big part of React is creating this ring and need a few hosts to create that ring. And that ring is simply just made up of partitions. So, you break up that uh, ring into partitions, and then React spreads those partitions evenly amongst the hosts. So, for instance, uh, kind of garbled a little bit, but if you have 128 partitions and eight hosts, uh, you'll end up with 16 partitions per host. All right, so now we have um, a ring, we have partitions. Uh, what, what, like, what's happening with your data, data behind the scenes? So by default, the default value is to replicate each piece of data that we store three times, and that ensures the resiliency throughout the cluster. So if Brad's walking by our server rack, fills a big gulp on one of our React hosts, it goes down, the cluster still functions, and, um, and it's with no manual intervention. You can access all this data through HTTP or Google protocol buffers, which are pretty cool. Um, another huge feature that we really enjoy and use a lot of um, is the post commit hook, which allows you to integrate a function into the React database. And whenever you store a record um, on a particular bucket, you can fire that function. And so how we use that is uh, we use the post commit hook to send data to the mirror, which is our whitelisting application, and then to Kafka. All right, so you're still not impressed, you want a little bit more. All right, so uh, React is multi-cluster, as Niaja mentioned. Um, going in between and like moving data from different, different locations is not a problem. So think of your data as lettuce, um, iceberg lettuce. Um, so uh, there's two ways that React manages this. Uh, one is real-time replication, the other is full sync replication. So real-time replication is the process of just moving new changes in data to a new cluster. This is really nice. Um, this is how you ensure data is synchronous across all the clusters. The other type is full sync replication. This is the historical data that you want to transfer. And we initially, when we first set this up, uh, we used it as a way to uh, provide disaster recovery scenarios. So we had a slave cluster that was constantly getting writes. And so if anything should happen, uh, we're safe. Um, great high, avail high availability. The other great thing about full sync replication is it can go multiple ways. So you can have a data center in California, Virginia, and Europe all sharing, all actively writing to each other, and data secure. So, are we in sync? That's actually 98 degrees. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, and I'm just here to say, in React, we trust. Oh. 